Hi everybody, my name's Tony Rossetti, and I'm here today again to show you how to disassemble guns to clean them. This is the new Browning Maxxis II, Wicked Wings edition, beautiful gun. All Maxxis IIs disassemble the same way. First thing you want to do always is to make sure that the gun is empty. The other thing you want to have when you're working with firearms is you want to have some eye protection. There are loose springs and things that can bounce up and hit you in the eye, put your eye out. So empty gun, eye protection. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the magazine cap. And I'm going to try to place these in chronological order so that should I not be familiar with the gun, I know in the sequence in which they came off, okay? Got the four in. Barrel. Now you got the piston gas system, basically that's what this is. This is what operates the gun. You got your spacer and plunger that operates the, hand, the, the bolt. You've got the spring. Very similar to most, a lot of guns have a similar spring. And now, what I'm going to do now is take, take out the operating handle and let's take out the fire trigger assembly out of this. Again, you've got pins that you can just knock out. You would like a good clean work area so that should these pins fall on the floor or somewhere, you'd be able to find them again. Fire control, trigger assembly, however you want to say that. Toothbrush, easy. All you need to do is clean it off, get the carbon off of it, clean the dirt out of it, and it's good as new. The next thing I'm going to do is Take the bolt out. All I did was push it out with my thumb. Once I've taken the operating handle out, it just slides right out. This is the actual bolt assembly. This is the bolt, basically the bolt holder or carrier assembly. Those need to be just, you can take those apart separately, clean them good. Now, if you had a sonic cleaner of some type that you reload shells and you clean the shells with, you could drop some of these metal parts in there and clean them with that. That would help. From there, I've disassembled the gun. Here, I'm gonna take a rag, brush, toothbrush, clean out all the extra carbon and stuff and grit and grime that has accumulated in the, in the, in the gun. All right, let's go ahead and put the gun back together now. Starting from the, the rear, we're gonna put the bolt and bolt assembly back in there, making sure that the end of the bolt assembly fits into spring cup. So that's, that's in there, you realize that when, as soon as you do work the action, I'm gonna put the Fire control back in the gun. I'm gonna just slide it in. Starting in the rear, um, you need, I failed to mention this. This is your bolt release. That needs to be compressed. So I'm holding that in and now sliding all that in so that's out of the way. Now I've got the bolt, the fire control back in there. Both pins are the same size, so there's no, there's no right or wrong way to do that. Sometimes you got a little bit of move. Yeah, let's look at it. Sometimes you can square up the hole with that. There we go. 
go. Getting all the parts lined up, that's just part of it. We'll get that back in there. We know that's all working properly. Now, I'm gonna put the spring back in. I'm gonna put the spacer and plunger back in. I'm gonna put the gas support system piston seal. Barrel. Now, if, you've, if you're familiar with the Maxxis, you'll notice this doesn't have the little magazine, I mean the four-end release right here. This is a, as they, they've gone back to the traditional nut and screw, you know, to put it back in and lock it in. And that's how you disassemble and reassemble the Browning Maxxis II. Beautiful gun, Cerakoted, bronze, and mossy oak, hard to beat. Thank you all for listening.